Today I'm going to show you how to make simple changes to your website. Now if you're a plug and profit site owner, your web host is host for profit and changes made to the website are done through the web ePanel. To get there, go to your address bar and type in your website address forward slash menu. So in my case it'll be affiliatehomepro.com forward slash menu and this will bring you to the web ePanel. From there you're going to click on file manager. Now today we're making changes to the home page, however uh, your home page is going to be labeled index.html, but for this example we're going to use one of my old website pages, which I have labeled oldindex3.html. And it looks like this. Okay, now off to the right here is a series of icons. The icon that we're interested in is this pencil and notepad icon. Clicking on this will bring you to the file editor for this particular page. Now if you're new to HTML, uh, you're not going to want to make changes to your website directly within this file editor. So as you can see, uh, this is the HTML source code for this web page. And it can be difficult to see where everything goes if you're not used to reading the code. So uh, we are going to use what, what is called a what you see is what you get editor. Uh, now there are many different editors available to you but the one that I use is called Enview. Now uh, Enview is free to download. If you don't already have an editor you can get Enview by visiting uh, nvu.com and clicking on their download link. So now that we're set with an editor we can go back into our web ePanel to the file we're wanting to make changes to. Uh, but before we make changes, it's important that we make a backup copy of this particular file so that if we run into a problem, we will be able to restore it easily. Uh, now to do that, we're going to scroll down to the bottom here where it says new file name. And we're going to give it a, uh, a, a name for our backup copy. So we'll just call it backup old index 3html and click save file. And now, as you can see, it's, uh, it's right here, and it looks exactly like uh, the index, old index 3 page. Okay, so now we can go back into uh, the old index 3 page, and we're going to copy the source code so that we can start making changes to it. To do that, right-click, select all, right-click again, and click on copy. Now let's go to end view. Okay, now uh, if you look, this is end view, and if you look down at the bottom, uh, down here you're going to see different tabs. We have normal, which is the what you see is what you get uh, editor. We have HTML tags, which just displays the HTML tags. Uh, then we have the source, and as you can see, this is where the HTML uh, source code goes, and on a blank page, end view starts a, um, starts the source code for you. We're going to go ahead and delete this out because we already have our entire source code copied onto our clipboard. We're going to right click, paste, and now our, our code is, is into end view. And then preview will just show you what the web page will look like live on the internet. So let's click over to normal, and this is the what you see is what you get editor. So now we're going to go ahead and start making some basic changes. Uh, if you look, we have our website is dedicated to researching home-based business ideas and opportunities. Let's go ahead and make some changes to the wording. We're going to go. We're going to take out home-based business. And we're going to replace it with easy work from home ideas, and then we're going to add home-based business back in here and home-based business opportunities. Now, to give it a little more weight, we're going to bold easy work from home ideas. And you just go up, highlight it, and click on B for bold here. And then home-based business opportunities. That's basically it. Now it's bolded. It's really easy text editing. Now uh, let's do something different. We're going to add a, te a hyperlink to this text. So we're going to highlight top pick, and we're going to link it to our PIP sales page. To do that, let's go up here into this menu and click on the chain here, the link, and that brings up the hyperlink properties. We just type in the target page, www.affiliatehomepro.com forward slash pips.html. We're going to choose to have it open in a new window. 
and click OK and that's done. One of the other changes you can make is a banner change. Now if you look we've got several banners on our website and we have one for leisure audiobooks. If you scroll down we have another one for leisure audiobooks and we're going to change one of these banners. To do that we're going to click on here and then just delete and now the banner is gone and we're going to replace it with a different banner. So just so I know where, we're where we want to place it, we're going to write, type in place banner here just so we have it for future reference. Now let's go into to, uh, Leisure Audiobooks so that we can pick out our banner. I, I went into leisureaudiobooks.net to the member section, you log in and then you click on promotional resources. You scroll down to the banner section and these are the banners that you can choose and this is the banner we're going to choose today, Banner 5. Now, if you can see here, it's, uh, it's already personalized with, your, with my affiliate ID code 3475. Now, um, if uh, not all companies are going to do this for you, so it's important to check your links before you upload them to make sure that your affiliate ID is automatically embedded into the banner. And if it's not embedded, there's going to be instructions uh, provided by the company on how to do on how to do that. But if it, but Leisure Audiobooks, they they're pretty good. They give you the uh, personalized HTML for the banner. We're just going to right click, copy. Now let's go back into EndView, and this is where we're going to want to place the banner here. Um, however, uh, this is the what you see is what you get editor and so we cannot add the banner code directly here because then all you'll see is banner code. So we have to add it into the source code. Uh, however, it's kind of hard to find so what we're going to do is just highlight, place banner here. Now click on source code and you can see find it easily because it's highlighted for you. So now let's just highlight the entire area, place banner here so that that's going to be totally replaced by the, the banner code right click paste now just click normal and the banner is put in place uh, now when you're done working on your web page you're going to return to the source code here you're going to right click select all right click again and copy and now we're going to uh, save this into the web e-panel so return to your web e-panel I left the page up that we were working on and it's already highlighted so now all I have to do is right click and choose paste and the updated code has now replaced the original code now you just have to click save file and the changes that we made in EndView are now uh, live on the internet and to show you what we did you go um, I'm pulling up the old this is the page that it, how it looked before we made our changes and this is the page now. You see the, the wording's changed. We've got the top pick, which is linked now to the PIPS sale page, and our banner has changed. And the old banner is still there, and this is a rotating banner, so every time this page is refreshed, the banner changes, which is a pretty cool thing. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, I hope that you're able to, I hope that I've given you some confidence in seeing how easy it is to make changes if you have the proper editor especially. Uh, so hopefully now that you can just take the plunge and start making changes to the website, your own website yourself. So good luck.